this class we discuss about ac fundamentals alternating current and voltage alternating current periodically changes the direction in which it is flowing a voltage which changes its polarity at regular intervals of time is called an alternating voltage a voltage which produces an alternating current when used to power circuit most type of alternating current the magnitude is changing continuously the ac power refers to power that is produced by alternating current and voltage the ac quantities may be represented graphically here this is a graph x axis is time or angle y axis is magnitude of voltage or current the most type of waveform is sine wave it is an alternating waveform in which sine law is followed non sinusoidal waveform is an alternating waveform in which sine law is not followed periodic waveform sine wave is a periodic waveform is one which repeats itself after definite time interval alternating current can be electronically produced in an almost infinite variety of waveforms remember commercial alternators produce sine wave types of ac waveforms the alternating current and voltage supplied to homes and factories is sinusoidal square waveform is used extensively in computer circuits sawtooth waveform is used in television receivers radar receivers and other electronic devices electronic music is created by producing and mixing together a wide variety of waveforms now we'll see the advantages of sine waveform number 1 sine wave can be expressed in a simple mathematical form number 2 the rate of change of any sinusoidal quantity is also sinusoidal number 3 the mathematical computation is easy with this waveform number 4 applying fourier series analysis it is possible to represent any periodic function of whatever waveform in terms of sinusoidal number 5 when current in a capacitor in an inductor or in a transformer is sinusoidal the voltage across the element is also sinusoidal these are all the major advantages of sine wave important terms number 1 cycle one complete set of positive and negative values of an alternating quantity is known as cycle number 2 alternation one half cycle of an alternating quantity is called an alternation an alternation spans 180 degree electrical number 3 period the time required to complete one cycle is called the periodic time or simply the period capital p number 4 frequency the number of cycles completed in one second is called the frequency its unit is hertz hertz is a scientist name 1 hertz is equal to one cycle per second number 5 amplitude the maximum value of positive or negative attained by an alternating quantity is called its amplitude or peak value it is denoted by capital v suffix m or i suffix l important relations number 1 time period and frequency time taken to complete f cycles is equal to 1 second therefore time taken to complete one cycle is equal to 1 by f seconds i can write capital t is equal to 1 by f or f is equal to 1 by t that is the relation between time period and frequency number 2 angular velocity and frequency consider a coil is rotating with an angular velocity of omega radians per second in a uniform magnetic field in one revolution of the coil the angle turned is 2 pi radians and voltage wave completes one cycle time taken is capital t seconds i know angular velocity is equal to angle turned by time taken omega is equal to 2 pi by t 
I know 1 by t is equal to f. I can write omega is equal to 2 pi f. That is the relation between angular velocity and the frequency. Number 3 relation between frequency, speed and the number of poles. In an alternator, one cycle of the voltage waveform is completed when the conductor move past a pair of n and s poles. P is equal to capital P is equal to number of poles. Small p is equal to number of pairs of poles. Capital N is equal to speed of rotor in revolution per minute. Small n is equal to speed of rotor in revolution per second. And F is equal to frequency in hertz. Now I can correlate. Capital P is equal to 2 into small p. Therefore small p is equal to capital P by 2. Capital N is equal to 60 into small n. Small n is equal to capital N by 60. Frequency is equal to number of cycles per revolution into revolutions per second. That is equal to small p into small n. I know p. p is equal to capital P by 2. Small n is equal to n by capital N by 60. Therefore, f is equal to p n by 120. That is the relation between frequency, speed and the number of poles. Values of alternating quantities. Number 1. Instantaneous value. The value of alternating quantity at a given instant is called instantaneous value. It is denoted by small letters. Small v or i. Number 2. Maximum or crest value. This is the maximum value of the alternating quantity attained by it in a cycle. It is the highest instantaneous value. It is denoted by a capital letter and the subscript M. V suffix M or I suffix M. Number 3. Average or mean value. The average value of a waveform is the average of its all values over a period of times. Average value is equal to total area under the curve divided by time. Average value of symmetrical wave is equal to area of one alternation divided by base length of one alternation. Average value of unsymmetrical wave is equal to area of one cycle divided by base length of one cycle. Number 4. Effective value. The effective value of an alternating current is that value that produces the same heat in resistive circuit as a direct current of the same value. That means we measure AC in terms of DC. The fifth term is RMS value. The effective value of waveform can be determined by a mathematical process known as root mean square value. So effective value and RMS value are same. Equation of alternating voltage and current. Consider a rectangular coil of n turns rotating in anti-clockwise direction with the angular velocity omega radians per second in a uniform magnetic field. The coil moving parallel to the flux has no change of flux linkage with it. Component pi max sin omega t parallel to the plane of the coil, this component induces no EMF in the coil. Pi m cos omega t is perpendicular to the plane of the coil, this component induces EMF in the coil. Flux linkage of the coil at a considered instant is equal to number of turns into flux linking. That is equal to n into pi max into cos omega t. According to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, induced EMF V is equal to minus d pi by dt. That is equal to minus d by dt into n into pi max into cos omega t. That is equal to minus n into pi max into minus sin omega t. That is equal to n into pi max into sin omega t. V max is maximum when omega t is equal to 1. That is the coil turned through 90 degree in anti-clockwise direction from the reference axis. Therefore V max is equal to n into pi max into omega. V 
P is equal to Vm into sin omega t. Here Vm is equal to n into pi max into omega. I can write Vm is equal to n into pi max into omega. Therefore, V is equal to Vm into sin omega t. So, instantaneous value of EMF varies as the sine function of time angle theta or omega t. I can write V is equal to Vm into sin theta. Similarly, I is equal to Im into sin omega t. That is equal to Im into sin theta. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.